What's up guys? My name is Michael, I'm a photographer and YouTuber. In this video, I want to show you real quickly why Capture One is the RAW converter of my choice. You will learn some of the key features of Capture One and you will understand why Capture One is so powerful. Let's get started with the user interface. Capture One's user interface has three main areas. Currently on the left, we have the browser with all of our thumbnails. In the middle, we have the viewer, which displays one or multiple images. And on the right, we have the tools for editing our images. Now, first of all, we can hide all of these individually to just see all of our thumbnails, to just see only our images or to see the images and our editing tools. And we can, of course, change the position of the browser and our editing tools. Now, the editing tools themselves are divided into tabs. Now, currently we have a library tab, a exposure or main editing tab, process recipes, which are used for export, and we have the tethering tab. Now, the customization goes even further. So one thing that I really like to do is take the library tool, remove it from the library tool tab and place it in here. So while editing, I can now browse wherever I want. Now, one thing that's new in Capture 120 is that the tools are now scrollable. But the great thing with the scrollable tools is that you can pin your favorite tools to be always visible at the top. And there's one more thing about the customization that I would really like to show you. For example, with the curve tool, you can just take it and place it wherever you want, make it nice and big and make really subtle and fine adjustments to your image. Comparing images has never been easier. I have now selected three images. If I zoom in, just one image gets zoomed. If I press and hold the shift key, all of the three images zoom in and zoom out and I can navigate check for focus and compare details very easily. A great tool that I really like to use a lot is the loop tool. To access the loop tool, just press P on your keyboard and click somewhere in your image to see a magnification of that area. The great thing about the loop tool is that it also works in the thumbnails. Now let's talk a little bit about colors because Working with colors is really one of the key features of Capture One. Now in Capture 120, we get the direct color editor. And with the direct color editor, you can change lightness, hue and saturation of any color just by clicking and dragging the color inside your image. While talking about colors, there is one more really important tool that I need to show you, and it's called the advanced color editor. Let me show you how it works. Now let's say I want to change the color of this flag. So I'm going to select the red and I'm also going to select few selected color range. And you can see that the building is also included in this red selection. Now we want to change that. And as you can see, we have this color wheel up here. So what I'm going to do now is make the selection more narrow until the building is not included in my color selection anymore. And I can see that once it changes to black and white. And as you can see now, only the flags are in this color selection. Now, of course, I can change this color. I can change its hue, I can change its saturation, I can change its lightness. Now that is just basic color editing. But the greatest feature, in my opinion, is that you can use this color selection as a mask for a new layer. And then you can use all of the tools that Capture One provides to edit this layer. How crazy is that? So I could do some noise reduction in these red areas, or I could use the HDR tool in these red areas. I mean, you have to be creative with that, but the feature is just amazing. And since we're still talking about colors, there is one more tool related to colors that I would love to show you. 
and it's called the color balance tool. Most of the times, color balance is something that is used in color grading in video productions, but I love to see this feature in a raw converter. Let me show you how it works. So for this image, what I would like to do is give the shadows a blue tone. The midtones are supposed to go in a warmer tone like this kind of yellow orange and the highlights as well. So I'm going to increase the saturation again just a little bit. And as you can see, the effect is quite crazy. I really enjoy working with the color balance tool. If you haven't used this tool before, make sure you check it out. And by the way, to see what kind of effect a certain tool has on your image, just alt click on this little arrow and you will see what the image looks like without the effects of this tool being applied. To see the original image, just click on the before button. Click it again and you will see the current edit. There is also a split view option which gives you a slider. Both of these options can be used on a single image or multiple images and they work on any zoom level. The healing brush has also been improved. Just click on the new healing brush icon and brush over the area that you want to heal. Capture One will automatically create a new healing layer for you. You can now apply an unlimited amount of healings on this layer. Of course, you can move the source point individually if you need to. Next, we're going to talk about presets and layers. In Capture One, the presets are called styles. Now, Capture One comes with quite some styles that you can use, but for this image right here, I'm going to apply one of my own styles. Now, as you can see, the image has changed quite a lot and I'm basically done with the edit. But styles can also be applied in a much more advanced way. Let's just right click on this style and apply it to a new layer. So as you can see, Capture One created a new layer with the name of the style. And the great thing about the layer is that I can now change the opacity and I can also change where the style is supposed to be applied. So I could just apply it to the upper half of the image, just like that by using a gradient. But I could also use a brush tool to just paint the effect into the sky. And by doing that, I want to show you how crazy good the auto masking feature works. Let's do it. I'm going to use a fairly big brush. And now let's zoom in to see what kind of job we have done here. Can you see that? Isn't that crazy? Now, usually this would have been a job for Photoshop. In order to work with layers, you need a good mask. I've just showed you some ways to create a good mask, but there is one more special thing in Capture One and it's called the Luma mask. The Luma mask helps you to create a mask based on the brightness of your image. And in this image, I used the Luma mask to create a mask of the sky. I then duplicated this layer, inverted the mask and got a layer for the church. If you have similar images and you want to take the edits from one image to another, there are multiple ways to do that. In this example, I want to show you how easy it is to just apply the exposure settings from the left image to the right image. And for this reason, I'm going to select this double arrow symbol right here, press and hold shift on my keyboard, click it and I'm done. I could also use the copy and apply button to synchronize all of my edits with just one click. By the way, if you're a Fujifilm shooter or in general, you would like to use the camera profiles, you can find them in the base characteristic settings. Down there in the curve tool, you can select the camera profile that you would like to see. And by doing that, you get the same effect that you would get by shooting JPEG and using the camera profiles. Another great feature in Capture One is tethered shooting. So there is nothing you have to set up. You just plug in your camera, take a picture and it will show up in seconds. I have now just entered the capture tab up here, which gives me my camera settings, focus adjustment, exposure evaluation, and I can also change almost all of my camera settings in here. But it doesn't stop here. Capture One gives you a smartphone and tablet app, which helps you to remote control your camera and view 
and rate the images that you just took. Capture One gives me everything I have ever wanted when shooting Tethered. We have one more important topic to talk about. Right, exporting your images. Now to export your images, you have to define some process recipes. Now in this case, I have selected five process recipes which create JPEGs in different resolutions. And with the output naming tool, I have included the recipe name in the file format, which means that once I process this export, I will get five different files for each image that I have selected. As you can see, Capture One gives you a huge flexibility when exporting and naming your images. Capture One has improved my workflow and my photography. In this short video, you have certainly not seen everything. There's a lot to discover. Have fun and thank you for watching.